Hello, welcome again to this YouTube channel. Now we're going to sketch a quadratic function. Okay. To start doing this, we have to uh, extract our A now is A. B is the coefficient for your X, which is 1. And then C is your minus 12. All right, so... Now we can see, first thing first, you know that your A now is greater than 0. This implies that you have a concave upward situation. And then you know that by right, this is your uh, sign on uh, your forms. Okay. And then what is the vertex for this problem? So, Vertex, we can find this by using some formula. You have this formulation. Once you have this, you just put the value inside here. This is what you get. Once you get your x, how to find your fx? Just straightforward. You put all your values here inside this uh, function. Okay, and then you have, uh, do you do some calculation? This is what you get, uh, negative 12, half, a uh, quarter. Okay, you get the vertex. Okay, now let's see, uh, where is the y-intercept and where is the x-intercept? Okay, y-intercept, you can just simply put x equals to 0. So straightforwardly, you will get negative 12, okay? See over here, when your x equal to 0, you only have negative 12 here. And then your x-intercept, you make sure that your fx equals to 0. This implies your uh, original values like this one. Okay, this one equals to 0. So you just put your factorization in place. This is what you get. You can always use your calculator, doesn't matter, as long as you get your 3 and also you get your minus 4. Now, everything looks in place. How to sketch this? You just put your x-axis and y-axis. And then you just put your information, okay? The first one, you have negative half, okay? You just... Assuming, okay, you just make some assumption over here. This one, let's say, negative 12, all right? Uh, <laughs> negative 12, half. And then this one, you have negative 12. Okay, so this is the first uh, point, your vertex. And then this is your intersection of your y. And then you have a little bit intersection on your right. Uh, x, uh, this one is, let's say, 3, and then you have an intersection for negative 4, okay? And then, straightforwardly, you know that your curve is upward positioning, and then simply put a free flow uh, sketch, and then voila, this is your function fx equal to x squared plus x minus 12, that's it. Okay, so I hope you get the lesson for today. I'll see you guys on the next video channel. All the best.